Ah, that music slaps. Oh man, I hope this doesn't get a copyright hit. Hi there folks, welcome to Band Life Gaming. I'm your host Cody, and today we are playing The Outer Wilds. This is a game I've heard... I've heard a lot of good things about, but I haven't heard a lot about as far as like the actual gameplay goes. Um, I've never really watched anyone play it. Like I've seen like maybe a couple minutes at the beginning, but that's literally it. Um, and I've heard it's an amazing game. I understand the premise. The premise is um, basically you're on a, like a 22 minute time loop. You have 22 minutes to do whatever you can in this world universe thing um my understanding is there is a an ending like a proper ending there's a lot to explore there's a lot to find i'm very excited to play this um so uh also um all, all the reviews on well most of the reviews on steam say just play it just play it don't look up anything don't watch anyone else play it just play it yourself so if you uh plan on playing this game or you might plan on playing this game i suggest either leaving the video now or um maybe watch like one one episode and then if you decide oh yeah i want to play that stop watching <laughs> i i know that's not good for the channel but uh you know i, I want to make sure everyone has the best possible experience here um also also the um there is a dlc for this game that came out not that long ago uh, I do not have it installed. My understanding is play through the base game and then install the DLC and do that. So this is probably going to be, I know I say this a lot, and like sometimes it's true and sometimes it's not. This is probably going to be a long running series on the channel. Um, the whole 22 minute time loop thing is actually really cool because it allows me to do like one loop per episode. That's super easy. Or maybe like two loops if I'm feeling like, you know, really into it. But... So yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited to get into this. Um, it did recommend at the beginning of the game to use a controller, so we are using a controller. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's see what's up. Wake up. I have to remember how to use a controller now? Oh, what, what, ooh. What's that about? Okay. Here I am. Oh yeah, we're we're some kind of alien. I don't know if it like starts from now or if it like starts from when I get into wherever my spaceship is. Talk to sleep. Uh there's our pilot back from your pre launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly uh, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get uh, this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, are you sure you fixed the retro rockets? Uh, that was only a problem one time and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell in the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from... Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Maybe. Has the loop started yet? Oh. That's interesting. I like go down and then I go up. Hello. Mika. Hey, it's you. It's me. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Uh, aren't you going into space? Uh, aren't you going into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Practice with a pro. Here you I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever. Oh my god. The fucking music in this game is so good. Uh, it's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Uh, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Yeah! Fly the model ship. Up, down, thrust, horizontal thrust. Oh, 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 okay.
Hey. Nice. Okay, I get it. Thanks, Mika. Peace out. The observatory? There's you. Oh my god, the music is so good. I'm not gonna stop gushing about it. It's so good. Orphy, hey, hatchling. Okay. I uh, hear you're leaving to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. <laughs> Was uh, less delicious sap wine, more dauntingly digestive challenge. Iron stomach is the mark of a true Earthian, my friend. Uh, our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, <laughs> by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Yeah, fair enough. All right. If this is already the start of the loop, and, like, at some point during talking to all these people... Maybe I should pause. At, at some point during talking to all these people, like, something happens and the loop gets reset, then I'll, I'll do a second loop. We'll see. <clears throat> Outer Wilds Ventures presents Postcards from Orbit. Orbit. Oh, uh, you're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, space programs certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Thanks. Satellite camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting uh, Timber Hearth. So, okay, Perthian. Um, the satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. What's that? Why do I get the feeling I should explore this planet? Well, this takes a while. Hey, it's the village. Cool. Read. Uh, this pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Fledspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Okay. Uh, although it's been argued such a distinction requires breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will ne nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Earthian history. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Huh. This is neat. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this already. What's up, Marl? So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about the time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. Wouldn't uh, I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The launch pad. The launch pad is flammable. <laughs> you didn't realize that. No worry. It's held up from uh, all the launches so far. I'll def It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. Yeah. Uh, just. You know, you have it out for that tree. But no, I just think it's in the way, and someone ought to chop it down. You know, specifically me. <laughs> You think this has something to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That's when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? You. I think... Whoop. Jumping is a little weird, but... Uh, I get used to it. Just woo. It's quite the jump. What's up? Uh... Enos? Guinness? Hello oh, there, Space Cadet. Heard you're leaving the crater today. Uh, if you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? 
Tell me about the Traveler's instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Church Drums, Rebix Banjo, and Gabro's Flute. And Fled Spars... Fled Spars Harmonica, of course. The Fled Spars been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. The uh, campfire. Uh, anyway, you hear music in space, and I'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay, what, uh... Ah, I'm good. Okay. Observatory's up that way. Can I go into your house? Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I talked to everyone around here. Looks like it. Can I run? I can walk. Hello, Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my fable favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? All right. Here are the rules. Glenn and uh, me will hide with these radios, and you use your signal scope to find us. Last one found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh, it had, like, multiple lines for the eyes. That's cool. All right, this is a... Uh, this is... How do I get up there, though? Wait, excuse me? Alright, someone's over there. Gotcha. Ah, oh, you found me? My hiding spot was super good. I have to find both of us, okay? Alright. Cool. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Is there a run button? I'm just curious if we can go even faster. Okay, 260 meters that way is something. Something's out that way, too. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Hello, Spinel. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess uh, we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant, giant steep. That's where I'd go. Oh, planet. Uh, why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabro told me about the first trip to giant steep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but it couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water is, I guess. Too dark. Gabra wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. Suddenly, Gabra couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I was just pausing dramatically. <laughs> Uh, as though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabra go any deeper. It held Gabra back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then the terrible darkness, Gabra saw it. The tentacle of, a, of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabra said anyway. Whatever it is, it freaked Gabra out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. Oh, okay, fair enough. Zero G cave. What? Oh, 
Oh, a flashlight. A lot, of, a lot of water stuffs. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Okay, cool. Good to know, good to know. Is, is there... Well, shit. Is there a... Do I, do I have a camera out in the field? That's a big-ass camera. Just saying. Your G cave. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got ZRG training set up if you want a refresher. Oh, okay. Hey, old flight coach. Are you missing an eye? I mean, you've got a few extras, so... Uh, hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Uh, nerves getting the better of you? Uh... Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. Don't worry about that ship if I were you. Uh, I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully, that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. <clears throat> so, listen up. There's a satellite, which is definitely not a piece of broken mining equipment, set up in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. Ah, sure. Cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. I will try. How's a zero G cave work? Wait. Suit up. Rest up and down. Do I have a certain amount of fuel? I do. Oh, hello, miner. Stuff. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero deep time in. You're going in there, in the cave. Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great, and fine. Uh, well, you know I hate that cave, but I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Aw. Uh, now I've got hand sweats. I know that feel, man. I know that feel. Well, I wasn't trying to use the, the rocket thruster. Zero of three repaired. Yeah, how do you repair? Okay, okay, okay. What am I using to repair this? Magic, clearly. I was gonna say this is uh this isn't too bad, but it's not. Like navigating this isn't the worst. Not the easiest though. Where is this last thing? Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. This way. Hey, training simulation complete. 
I just gotta get out of here without dying. Ah, oh, I could roll. Yeah. I've used quite a bit of fuel here. Okay, return suit. But. Alright, that went well. Where am I? How do I? Get me out of here. So the controls are, are pretty good, I'd say. Fairly intuitive. Could I have just, like, literally gotten him? Well, no, I needed to go to the observatory for the launch codes. Hey, bud. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Uh, I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from Observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting killed now that you, uh, I've put so much time into training you, got it? I'll try. I will try. Where's the Observatory? Oh, I thought it was close to it. I ain't even, like, kinda close. Hello, Marine. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. Uh, my name's Panda. Excuse me. It's good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Um, any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal so uh, scope is set to outer, outer wilds venture frequency. Uh, so I'm listening to Traveler's music. Last night I heard uh, Rebecca's banjo coming from Br Brittle Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. You can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Yeah, I already, uh... That looks neat. Alright, someone's on the moon. Were you? You weren't up here. Who are you? Oh, maybe you are up. Maybe you were up here. Hi, astronaut. You know that patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghostin says it used to be bigger uh, when they were a hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. Of course it does. It, it just takes a su super long time to go away. Uh, I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Burn the heck out of you. Eh. Uh, I heard touching it hurts so bad. It feels like your whole hand is on fire. Uh, try not to walk into any in space, okay? Sounds bad and painful. I'll try, kid. I'll try. Saw smoke coming from Yunbark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm uh, gone. Scout launcher. North Yumbart Crater. Okay. What is this magic bullshit? There's the smoke they were talking about. Hmm. All right. Geyser Mountains. Quantum Grove Crater. Now my ruins. Okay. I, I get the picture. I, I understand what she's saying to me. Where's my music? Where's all my cool music? These roofs are interesting. I 
I like that they're all like slanted so you can just get up on your roof and work. It heard me. I feel like I was supposed to come from that one. like the originals uh, outer wilds adventurers founding members clockwise from top left uh, horn fells gosen slate and feldspar outer wild ventures ventures uh, timberhurst's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system Feldspar was the first Herthian to be intentionally launched into space. <laughs> uh, they completed their first orbit around uh, Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings to our moon, the Adel Rock. That's cool. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species. Uh, species? Species? who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Ooh, some lore. The statue provides us with the most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appeared to have been covered in a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antler- er, as part of the antlers? Uh, although their artifacts and structures uh, have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Interesting. What's up, pal? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch date last, huh, buddy? Uh, it's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too, so I'm excited. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us uh, put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh, geez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. Um, I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Uh, good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. Uh, so what's the dirt? Are you here to see the new Nomai statue? Of course. Uh, just finished prepping. It's amazing. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. I doubt that. Uh, check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. Um, this is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself uh, Yourself out there. You hear? Yahur. Oh my god, so many readables. I mean, soon. Excuse me? Future site of our next exhibit. Uh, if you enjoyed your, uh, your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Is that like our quest to uh, explore the first reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you? I almost feel like that's like some fourth wall breaking, but okay. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level. So what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits around our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Okay, cool. Uh, this piece of know my writing uh, was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, no my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. I don't see any text. Oh. Oh, that's the, Oh. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. She says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Outer Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Search for what? 
Are there more branches? Yes, there are. That's interesting. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated, decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or they, were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-archaeological expeditions. Cool. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton from... Uh, we can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and, quite unusually, only three... So unusual! <laughs> the Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that uh, Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomai... Nomayan... Nomayan? Nomayan ancestors? It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. I didn't think this was going to be a lore episode, but here we are. Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to outer wild ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capacity that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Oh, okay, fair enough. This crystal was taken from a Nomayan or from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. They seem to create local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Get out of here. Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, let me... Oh, okay. Can I, um, get back on the ground? Thank you. Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? It's an anglerfish, but it's not. I, it, oh, it is! This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew too close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited for living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Cool. Okay, is this the solar system? If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even he heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode into a violent event called a supernova. E yes. Oh, this is the evolution of a star. Okay. This, uh, the strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize that it must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gambo claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. <laughs> You're right, it's creepy! You are right about that. That is a creepy effect. I am so like... Oh, so this is the solar system, okay. Oh! <laughs> the Hourglass Twins, Dark Bramble, Riddle Hollow, Giant Steep. So I think this is the... This is the water world they were talking about? There's some things orbiting it, and then a moon. Ooh, some storms. Neat, neat. Uh, Brittle Hollow and Hollow's Lantern. Okay, and that's where the anglerfish is from. The Hourglass Twins, Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Those, that's cool. So there's Adelrock, our moon. 
Dark Bramble, which... Or is that where the, the fish came from? I don't even know. There's a static light out here. It's on the map, right? But it's not showing... What's that? Hmm. Okay. So there's some other interesting things to see as well. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I guess this is the person that has my codes. Uh, Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. Um, and this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away that a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? This is getting, like, very real. I wasn't expecting it to. There you are. Just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Uh, we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Uh, tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? You'll start with something small. You prefer to ease into things? That's a sensible plan. More sensible than most of our astronauts tend to be, and that's a fact. Uh, do you think you'll go to the Adel Rock then? Our moon would be a safe place to travel and get your bearings in space. I'm sure Esker would appreciate the visit. Uh, plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai ruins on the moon are or why they uh, they were built. You could put your new translator to all through its bases. And then looks uh, like that's... Oh, well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off all in all to find a for launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. We need launch codes then. Here they are. Uh, best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. That's, that's the launch codes? Okay. All right, and uh, that took longer than I thought it would. Hi. Is that what starts it? I bet that's what starts it. Uh, big thanks to you, you found uh, never here. Okay, these are probably like credits to like Patreon backers or something. Let's say Omrecker. I know Ohm. I don't. I know of Ohm. Okay, so they're YouTubers. Launch tower. Hey, hey, so you get a, uh, did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? Oh, whoa, the statue was doing what? So it's eyes open and you saw images of your own memories and, glow, uh, and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, were you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, that stuff is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfells tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said... Uh, they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they're able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So, maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Geez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. 
Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and fly safe. Okay. Okay, so here's here's the spaceship. I don't know if I like I've been going for a while. I don't know if I wanna definitely keep all of that in the video. Did I talk to you? You going into space and never coming back like Feldar did? No, I'll definitely come back. Well that's sad. Uh, Hornfells will be really sad if you don't come back, like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So, you should make sure you don't get lost in space, too. Fair enough. I've met a lot of- oh! Oh yeah, hey, and we're, we're, we're back. Hey, Slate. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. I uh, can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on... Fixing the autopilot's avoidance systems for this one. Uh, sorry. Okay. You know what? I, I, like, I, again, I don't know how much I'm gonna keep of that, of all of that, like, there's probably... Eh, maybe I'll keep it all. I don't know. But... I'm going to call this episode here. I think it would be quite interesting to start the next episode off with a launch and an actual, like, you know, go. So, uh, yeah, I'm very intrigued by this game. They're already, like, setting up plot points, you know, with ancient, you know, precursor civilization or whatever and statue that looked at me and other travelers in space and this rocket's probably going to blow up. And that wouldn't be a great start the next episode, would it? Uh, but hopefully it doesn't blow up. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content just like it. But I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye!